When I am learning a brand new technology, whether it's a new JavaScript library or a framework, a new piece of hardware like a sensor or a motor for my Arduino, I like to learn the absolute basics. So for example, we're going to go through socket.io in this video. And if you go to socket.io, there's a great tutorial on walking you through a chat using socket. However, if you want to apply some of that socket code to your application, you now have to take the chat application and remove all of the chat UI um, and some of the extra JavaScript that you don't need. Really, what you want to learn is using socket, how do I send a message and how do I receive a message? So we're going to code an example using just that code. We're going to click a button to send a message. That message will go from the client to the server. The server will, will notify that the message has been received, send a message back, and the client will also send a notification that the message has been received. I already have a couple files set up. I have a blank app.js file. This will be my Node.js code. I have an index.html file. In here, I have the basic HTML tag requirements. I've already added a a link to the socket.io.js library. I have a simple button and then I have an event listener that when the button is clicked at this point it's just going to console.log a from client message. And lastly I have a package.json with the package.json basics and I just need to add socket as a dependency. So let's add socket and we're adding version two. I'm gonna do an npm install to grab my new dependencies. So to start, let's just get our index page loaded through a Node.js HTTP server. So I'm gonna open up my app.json I'm going to inc include a couple of requirements. So I'm going to include HTTP to set up a server, and I'm going to include FS to, I'm going to use FS to read the contents of my index file. So we'll start by grabbing the context of our index file. And then we'll set up a basic server. And for now, with every server request, we will just respond with a 200 response code and our index page. Set our app to listen on port 3000. Okay, and start our node app. Open up a browser tab and load localhost port 3000 and our index page is working. At this point, if I open up my console and just click my button, we get our emit from client message. Okay, next we want to get a message going from our client in our index.html file to our server. So open up your index.html file and here we just need to initialize socket. So I'm going to create a variable called socket and to initialize socket we just run the IO function. This is a function defined by the socket.io JavaScript library. Then to send a message, it's as simple as going into our click function here. 
and we can say socket and the function to send a message is emit. When you emit a message, you need to name the message and then you can pass in some content. So I'm just going to pass in some data. Let's make a message sent from client. Okay, next I'm going to go back to my app.json and same thing, I need to initialize socket. So I'm going to create a variable called IO and require socket. And when you require socket, we want to tell it which server to listen to. So I'm going to tell it to listen to our server, which we named app. To tell IO, to tell socket to listen, we need to create an on connection event. So the on connection event will be initialized basically whenever a new client connects to our server. So each time a browser is opened, and in this case the index page is loaded, it will initialize socket on the client side, and this will react by running the connection function. And each time a connection is initialized, we just want to tell our socket on the server side to listen for a from client message. And when the from client message is received, we will run this function. And for now, let's just console.log and let our let us know using let us know that the from client message was received. Okay, from here I can start my app. I will refresh my browser page. And then when I click from client, you can see we get our console.log on our client side and then our console.log on the server side. So, so far everything is working as it should. The last part we want to add is to send a message from our server to our client and just have our client confirm that it was received. So after we receive our message from the client, I'm just going to send a message right back. So the function to send a message back is also emit. And it works very similar. We give it a name. So I'm going to call this one the from server message. And then we can pass some data. I'm just going to inform our client that our message was received. And then I'm just going to do a console.log. To let us know that the from server message has been sent. Then go back to our index file. So on the client side, we're just going to take our socket variable and add a listening event for our from server message. When the from server's message is received, we will run a function. And for now, all we need to say is console.log. and just confirm that our from server message was received. So if I save both of those, run our app, go back to our browser and refresh. And now if I click from client, right, we emit our from client message. If we look at our server, the from client message is received. 
we emit our from server message and our from server message is received. So that is about as basic as you can get, just sending a message from your client to your server, having it receive, react, and send a message back from the server to the client.